First time in Brandeis students' memory, the Brandeis Athletics Department is hosting an inner tube water polo tournament as part of the intramural sports program. But as it turns out, this isn't actually water polo's first season at Brandeis. Journalism 15A's Rebecca Blady has the inside scoop from the Lindsay Pool. We're ready! March of 2006, inner tube water polo became an intramural sport here at Brandeis University. But in 2008, when the Lindsay Pool went out of commission, the Brandeis Athletics Department had to cancel the inner tube water polo season. For many years, no one at the school played the sport. But then, this past January, the pool opened once again, and the Athletics Department can invite student teams to the inner tube water polo tournament. Tom Rand is the director of Brandeis Intramurals. He says, even though the pool only just came back, water sports are proving to be very popular. Only the seniors here had a pool for like two months. Everyone else has never even known we, about the pool. So, you know, it never has known us having a pool. So I think that was just a big draw to get people, you know, it's back. People enjoy it. According to Rand, six teams played inner tube water polo during the first tournament in 2006. 13 played the next year and 17 the year after that. This year, even after the four-year hiatus, inner tube water polo has 24 teams. Rand says this is partially because people want to use the pool, but he also cites an overall jump in an intramural participation on campus. In 2006, intramural sports had 3,400 participants. Last year, the number rose to 4,100. I think it's great. I think it's probably the most popular program on campus, numbers-wise. Um, you know, it provides students that stress relief that they get, you know, to recreate with their friends can take it competitive if they want or it doesn't have to be. But Rand says that the beauty of inner tube water polo is that it's a new sport for everyone to try, even for varsity athletes who play other sports. Jeffrey Klein, a senior who has played on the inner tube water polo team Morning Mist, agrees. I think this is one of the uh, best uh, intramural sports at Brandeis, uh, particularly because like most people are on semi-even playing field. And uh, I don't know, it's fun to be in the pool finally. Brandeis isn't the first school in the country to discover inner tube water polo. Intramural director Tom Rand says he got details on the sport from his alma mater, the University of Vermont. He says the rules of inner tube water polo are similar to those of other, more familiar sports. So it's kind of like soccer in that you, you know, you're going for the goal and then you have like direct and indirect throws as opposed to direct and indirect kicks is what we put in. Um, again, trying to limit the physical play so there's no grabbing, you know, that kind of stuff. Because most of the people playing the sport don't have a lot of experience with it, the rules aren't always rigidly enforced. Mark Eater is a senior member of the swimming club. As a freshman, he was on the varsity swim team, but the team was dissolved when the university closed the pool in 2008. Eater plays on an inner tube water polo team this year. He says the referees don't have a good conception of the rules of inner tube water polo. Inner tube water polo is not a real sport. Real water polo is a sport. There are rules for that. Sitting on inner tubes an activity. Like inner tube water polo is not really a sport. Rand says it wasn't easy getting the intramural water sports season back up and running again after the pool was closed for so long. Rand purchased new goals and tubes. The athletics department hired new lifeguards and trained referees. But Rand says he thinks the expenses will be worth it. After that first night when we had, it opened on a Sunday and we had a whole bunch of games, like the next day, everyone was coming in like, oh, it's awesome. Like it's blowing up on Twitter and Facebook. Like everyone's like talking about their water polo team. I'm like, good, good, you know. This year, Team Busted is the inner tube water polo champion. And that may not be all that surprising. According to the team's captain, Mark Eater, all of his teammates were once members of Brandeis Varsity swim team. Eater says he wasn't always sure he'd have a chance to play the game. I'm really happy it happened because when I got here as a freshman, all the older swimmers talking about how like they used to clean up every year and just like win intramural water polo, and so I was really excited. There's no sign the excitement surrounding this sport is dying down, and the successful water polo season testifies that Brandeis students are starting to make the most of the newly reopened pool. From Journalism 15A, I'm Rebecca Blake.